Welcome to What's the Deal with Sam? Starring Sam Lee. Join Sam as he discusses a wide variety of topics. Now let's start the show. Thank you. What's the deal with console wars? They're like Star Wars with the ground. So console wars for those who are the uninitiated, I think we need to kind of um, have a little bit of a refresher here. So when we're talking about console wars, typically we're talking about people who play on video game consoles who are kind of married to a specific brand of console or just one console in a generation of uh, consoles from the selection. And uh, they'll be very, very staunch defenders of that console and kind of put down other consoles. And usually it's both sides doing this, so there's a war happening. Um, usually it's with at least three of these things it has been lately. The most famous one you'll probably remember, um, probably, well, the really big one was like the, the Nintendo Entertainment System versus the Sega Genesis and then the Super Nintendo coming in to fight back. The Sega versus Nintendo console war thing was pretty big. Um, and it's kind of been a thing since then as well. Um, so I guess uh, <laughs> that that's more what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about console wars, I'm talking about like... Like, that kind of thing of, like, who has, like, you know, the better games, who has better graphics and this and that and, like, better exclusives and all this other stuff. And, and the, the problem here, I think, um, is that um, nowadays I'm seeing console war being brought up a lot by people who probably either weren't alive during these console wars or don't know about them or just, you know, haven't, like, I don't know, like, I guess... There's some kind of disconnect, but they haven't really been part of them because there's this kind of thing going off with people like, oh man, I hate console wars. Console wars suck. Console wars are so stupid. But I'm seeing it brought up on things that don't really have to do with console wars. Particularly when we're talking about systems looking at, you know, putting their games out, like companies putting their games out beyond just the systems that they own. The the idea of becoming a you know, multi-platform, even though they're first-party titles. And um, people are like, looking at that and being a bit worried about it and they're getting shit on for being like oh well if I, it's just it's just stupid console war stuff no it isn't um <laughs> i don't think it's a console war to want your console to have exclusive games on it so there's a reason for you to have bought the console um i don't think that is like i mean i could see kind of how you're saying that a little bit because you're like well why are you defending the console so hard then if it's not a console war i get that but at the same time you have to consider that like well It'd be different if I was like, this console is better than other platforms, and then that was taking it away from it, and I was mad because it was taking that game away from it. More so, it'd be like, well, what was the point of me getting this console if I can get it on other platforms, and then also get things that are exclusive to those platforms? Which wouldn't be me being a console warrior for those platforms, or a PC warrior, or a mobile warrior, whatever you want to say, right? You could extend this to anything with this kind of logic. So it's not quite the same. Um, and it's like... <sighs> I don't know. I feel like just anything where people don't like something that so, like something about an opinion like that has to do with console gaming, a lot of it is getting written off as console wars, and not everything is console wars. Um, I don't think that uh, wanting uh, uh, good consoles is a console war thing. I think we all should want good consoles unless we don't want consoles to exist. So like I don't know, and there's a lot of layers to that and things that go into it. So I can see how it can get kind of get hazy and confusing at times. But I'm just kind of tired of people just jumping to saying something is a console war to dismiss it. Because if you don't really care about this thing or think it's dumb or silly or whatever, then maybe don't engage with it. But don't misrepresent it as something that it isn't. And then, like, try to, like, don't try to do that and then, like, be like, whatever if people call you out on it. Just don't comment on the thing then if that's going to be a recurring issue for you. Um, make a note of that and do that. Um, so I just wanted to say, what's the deal with console wars? Um, they're also kind of dead. I mean, like, they exist, sort of, but every console right now is kind of like, they, they, everybody, everybody wants you locked into them, kind of, um, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo all want you locked in with them, um, and, uh, while they are willing to play nice with each other in certain ways for certain things, um, they don't mind having, you know, uh, 
cross-play for online stuff or having some games available on other things so they can make more money off them. They're getting more and more loose with these ideas as well. But I think it's also, again, it's one of those things where they're still all going to try to keep you, you know, wrapped in tightly into their ecosystem. They don't want to let go of you. Um, and that's why um, they don't really care as long as they can get, you know, some kind of a trade with it and so they can all benefit off of the players, then it's like, yeah, then, then, then it's fine. So I guess the console wars don't exist as much anymore because... Realistically, I think what we should be turning away from is we should be turning away from the idea of console wars or anti-console wars and, and just focus more on trying to make games better for all of us, which is what we'd all want anyways. Whether you see yourself as someone in console wars or you see yourself as someone um, that is against that and just wants wants games uh, everywhere for everyone, we all want the games to be good. We all want the services to be good. We all want the hardware to be good. And the more we're fighting with each other over this stupid shit... Um, whether it's the thing, you know, that, whether it's a competition thing that you think is dumb or trying to argue with people about this thing that you think is dumb, that they don't think is dumb, this is all dumb. We should focus on the actual things rather than the shit around the things. So what's the deal with console wars? They're like, world wars with the ground. Yeah. Yeah.